Well, we don't have to go down there, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. And I don't see anyone. Yeah, no, there's no one here. All right. I'm, I'm honestly not going to complain. I'm fine with it. I was just ready for all-out war. I was ready to lead the charge. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I like he just stands there for a second. He's like, is, is there something in my back? Is that a bolt in my back? Okay, I guess I'll die. And then slumps over. Like, he drops his weapons. He's like, wait a second. What is going on? I just, I want to avenge... Morassi, I really do. Like, I didn't expect this to be so dramatic, because it was like, oh yeah, no, it's, it's a fun mod, we run a museum, it's like, oh no, and then I figured, like, the most dramatic thing that's gonna happen is, oh no, there was a ghost in the museum, and then our guard's brother stole from the museum, I was like, oh no, that's as dramatic as it's gonna get, because even that's still, like, that's still fun, if that makes any sense. Those aren't like life or death situations. But now Morassi's dead. Like, man. That's that's one way to surprise someone. That's absolutely one way to surprise someone. I just I wanna avenge him. I wanna kill this goddamn farmer leader. This goddamn speaking farmer. It's like, good, you can understand me? That way I can just curse at you. Because that's all I want to do. I just want to curse and yell and be like, if Bring I back Morassi, you son of a bitch. Be right behind these rocks and up a bit. But I think this is as close as we're going to get. Okay. The rocks here are loose enough that we should be able to tunnel through with a little effort. Let's get to work. Good call, Kaya. This is it. I can feel it. <sighs> this is it. I can feel it. And then, then Aryan just stands back. It's like, Good job. Keep mining. Keep digging. I'm Aryan. After about 12 hours, you and the explorers managed to cut through the rocks and establish a work site camp on the other side. Aryan praises you for your hard work. Well, what about does it? Well, what about does it, Gilmaster? We've got we set up a small excavation nope. camp at the mouth of the tunnel just outside the temple. And I hit ready to continue investigating when you're ready. I hit tab, meaning to um exit out of the animation, but I accidentally skipped over his dialogue. That's my fault. What are you gonna do between digs? Well, I mostly help Ariana move her inventory around. And help Professor Morassi or Arian with whatever they need in prepping for a dig. Oh, okay, that's just the vanilla voice line. But now that you mention it, I do have some extra time on my hands. All right. I have a little knack you might be able to help with. Alright, well, Morassi's dead. In case you didn't know. That's kind of why we're here in the first place. I mean, it's not the only reason we're here, but... It's why I'm here, at least. Ooh! Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, these Falmer are very sophisticated. Look at all these books. Ariana, yeah, what is what is going on here? Archaeology work. Oh, no, this is our camp. Never mind, because he even said, like, oh, we set up a little camp on the other side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got excited. I thought the Falmer were advanced and sophisticated. It looks like we have another slot door lock here, but this one looks different. I don't think the spear will fit to unlock it. Yes, it looks more round like a rod or a staff would work. Perhaps one of the staves you found for Calselmo, which he donated to the museum, would work. I just so happened to bring the staves along with the other relics, in fact. Here you are, Guildmaster. Give them a try. I'm so glad that the mod is like, oh yeah, you might need these? Here, take them. Because imagine how terrible that would be. Oh, okay, that... I think that did it. Imagine how terrible it would be if you got all this way. It's like, oh, go back for these staffs that we really didn't tell you you might need. Ooh, that is stunning. Yeah, it is. Oh, well, that certainly did the trick. All right, everyone, be on your guard. We have no idea what could be inside. Ooh, Temple of the Venerable Ones. I like the name of that. Oh, all right. Yep, we're gonna have a showdown here. I can feel it in my bones. This is fantastic. Seems to be deserted in this main chamber. Let's have a look around. 
Hello? Anybody? Okay. Ooh, is this a harp? This is quite something, isn't it? I wonder what it's all for. I want to take this harp. These look like musical chimes of some sort. Looks as if they must hang from these large chains here. Seems to me that this pedestal somehow controls the chimes, but it's missing some kind of magically charged activator. Well, then I suppose we should continue onward and see what we find, and perhaps we'll discover the key we need for it. Then we can start to determine what it actually is used for. Lead on, Guildmaster. I feel like this whole place is going to be one huge puzzle. It's going to be interesting. Also, I feel like this place is just going to be massive, because I see that door, I see another door over there. There was a throne of some sort behind the this statue. Is fantastic. Seems to be deserted in this main chamber. Let's have a look around. Aryan, you okay over there? You feeling all right? You a little feverish or something? You're repeating yourself. Oh, we have to use... Ah, another yeah. staff slot, it looks like. See if another staff works to open the gate. All right. So... Oh, and there's a hand over there. I know, that's what it gets me excited. Hands. Okay. So we're going to have to use, like, the magical chimes to open each of these doors, then. I take it. Ah, another staff slot, it looks like. See if another staff works to open the gate. Okay, so we got another one of the chalices in there. I remember that from before. Let's open that up. Ah, oh, we've seen this before. That's the cup of finest stuff. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's a tiny slot on the base there. Almost like the ones of the staves and sphere, but smaller. Yes, in fact those look much like the sockets I utilized in the museum for a few specific ring displays. I wonder... I hope you brought them with you. Well, based on the use of other related relics, I would say the Ring of Finaster would be a logical choice. Do we have that? Not having the ring may prove problematic, however. When mm. last I mm. heard, the Thalmor were gathering all relics of the old Aldmer Pantheon. You're kidding me. So it's likely that the ring may be in their possession. If it is here in Skyrim, it would likely be at the Embassy, or possibly Northwatch Keep. You want me to leave? Which I hear they have been operating from. Either way, you will need to be very careful in finding a way in. You want me to leave here? We'll stay here and continue to study the ruins, and guard the temple if Tulrin and his followers show up. Hurry back, and be safe. You know how much it sucks getting here? You have any idea how much it sucks getting in and out of the goddamn... Oh my lord. Does he have any idea how much it sucks getting in and out of this place? Like, getting in and out of the goddamn... Hidden Veil? It's called the Hidden Veil for a reason, Aryan. It sucks absolute ass. And getting back here, it's like, I'm, I mean, yeah, maybe I'm just being picky at this point, but it's like, oh man, I just, I gotta walk back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Also, I want to find out what else I need. Ah, interesting. The shrine appears to be dedicated to Cirebe. Oh no. All right, yes, let's go. It seems that pedestal has another slot for something. Yes, I would assume it corresponds to an artifact like the other sockets. In this case, Where is Arya? would be the warlock's ring. And I just so happen to have brought it along with our other resources. Here you are, my friend. Oh. To go. Oh, okay, cuz he was saying we have the warlock's ring. And that's what we need for it. And I happened to get that cuz that was one of the items that I needed. We're well, not needed, but it was one of the items that I had to get. Um, forever ago. Just from Aryan's notes. Oh, thank God. So that was convenient. Ooh, here we go. Touchstone half. So find the other half of the gem, which means I have to go out. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, okay, now you're all rushing over here. Great. Oh, you couldn't have rushed over here earlier when I... When I opened this baby up, but now you're here, aren't you, Aryan? Oh, yeah. So I need to find the other half of the touchstone. Alright, so... Relic of Finister. I need to obtain the Ring of Finister to use at the Temple of the Venerable Ones. Aryan suggests that the ring could be in the possession of the Thalmor. He suggested I should investigate the Embassy or Northwatch Keep, which are known strongholds of Thalmor, uh, Thalmor activity. 
I kind of want to check uh, North Watch Keep first. I feel like that's going to be easier to break into. Oh, Jesus! Fantastic. Seems to be deserted in this main chamber. Let's have a look around. Aryan, you keep giving me a goddamn heart attack by doing that. Yeah, I really hope they all stay there now. I kind of wish there was some sort of like fast travel point here in the Forgotten Vale. That would make everything a lot easier, I think. That being said, it's really not the end of the world. It's not. I was also worried that they were going to follow me, which I know that they're not supposed to, so I'm glad that they're not. So am I going to get two quest markers for this now? Oh, we got enemies, so I got to fight my way out of here. Because I went the way with all the enemies in the world. Okay, but none of them are close enough to me that I can't fast travel out of here, so that is good. So... Oh yeah, no, it only seems to mark one location. It's like, oh, check either Northwatch Keep or the Thalmor Embassy, but it's marking just off of North Northwatch Keep, which is good for me because that's where I was going to go anyway. Oh, and they all came with me. I... Hmm. All right. I wasn't expecting you guys to join me. You know the Thalmor are going to see your faces and be like, Hey, we should burn down the goddamn museum. Because they all just broke the fuck in here. Well, alright, you guys do you. You all... Yeah, no, you're just going to follow me now, aren't you? I'm going to be looking behind me every ten seconds to make sure that they're still with me. To make sure that I don't lose them or anything. Alright, yeah. There's no easy way in. It's like, I just have to fight my way in, essentially. Aryan. Buddy. This is all your fault. This is absolutely all your fault. Oh. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? Wait, can I not hit this guy? Oh, okay, never mind. I was very confused, because I could have sworn that that should have just been a headshot. Alright, we're good. We're good. Everybody move in. Everybody- Oh no, oh no, they see us. Granted, that wasn't the sneakiest maneuvering I've ever done anyway, but still. Hey! Uh, bah, 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 bah. Who said that? Oh, they all followed us in. Oh, kudos. What if we just start screaming? It's like, we're here to save you! It's like, we have to do this! We have to stop the crazy Valmer assholes, so just give us the goddamn ring! Of course, it's the Thalmor, so they won't care. They're not gonna listen. <laughs> he just shouted everything out of that... Oh, that goddamn bucket. This is great. I love Fusrubda. I just love... I love the physics. This Skyrim has... Skyrim has fun physics. Any Bethesda game has fun physics, just because things will absolutely just go flying, and it's it's the best. It's my favorite. Like, you want to talk about fun physics in games? Fun ragdolls and everything? Like, the Skyrim, Fallout, just... You don't need to look any further than that. Aside from games that are designed largely around, like, oh yeah, no, the point of this game is it has weird and funny physics. It's like human fall flat and stuff like that. Hey, I just rhymed. I didn't even mean to. Okay. Here we go. This wasn't too bad now. It really wasn't. Ring... Ooh, that's fancy looking. Ring of Finister. Increases poison resistance by 20%. Increases shock resistance by 20%. Increases magic resistance by 20%. Completed. Relic of Finister. Lovely. The legendary Sancrator. I'm going to take this because I might need this to put on display at the museum. Latoria, you don't need to sneak anymore. We're all good. Alright. And now we can make our way all the way back to, uh... God, to the Forgotten Vale. So, uh, so give me a second, everyone.
So here's the thing, there is supposed to be a fast travel point for the Forgotten Veil, vale, and there normally is, but I looked it up and I've seen a lot of people saying that, for whatever reason, at some point it just randomly sort of disappeared for them from their map. I saw other people saying like, oh no, you have to make sure that you like move around with your mouse, because it's like very, very, like up in the, like almost inaccessible uh, top left hand corner of the map, but it's like, nope, definitely not there at all. Like, I'm going all the way to High Rock at this point, and it's just, I don't see anything at all, so. Well, it just means, you know, having to go through Darkfall Cave, because it's the only means I have. I just have to go through the manual process of getting there, because for whatever reason, the Forgotten Veil is just not on my map as a fast travel point, which, that's the only reason that this is slightly annoying. So looking at comments from previous videos, I saw a comment from the mod author saying that I just had to read the Lost Wonders of the Ages Volume 3 in my inventory, which would give me all of the, uh, the quest markers and everything in regards to the, uh, armor of the Nine Divines, the armor of, uh, the Nine, well, the armor of the Crusader, not armor of the Nine, I'm thinking of the Oblivion DLC, which is why I said that. I've read a curious book concerning the lost relics of the Divine Crusader, which were apparently brought to Skyrim by the last members of the Order who were attempting to hide the relics from the Thalmor who sought to destroy them in the memory of Pelinal Whitestrake along with it. I've jotted down a note of the possible locations of the chests as well as the blessings that will be needed to unlock the chests. Okay. So essentially, yeah, this is what I was supposed to do uh, forever ago and just read that and that marks everything for me, fortunately enough. Okay. Yeah, so that's just my own fault for not having read that before and not noticing that I had that book in my inventory in the first place. So, apologies everybody. Apologies. That is my bad. But hey, you I'm sure there's people keeping track of all of my bads, all of my goofs, all of my tomfoolery, if you would, as I make my goddamn way back up to <laughs> back up to the uh the excavation site, back to the Temple of... Well, that's not the Temple of Trinimac. That's the Temple of the Venerable One. Or whatever it was called. But yeah, so... I'm pretty sure that the Aelid Waystone amulet that I have will attune to, uh... This temple. Probably not, like, right now, but probably later on. Because I already checked it on my way here, and it didn't show... Uh, this is one of the locations I could go to. It still only showed... Um... Sancrator as one of the locations that I could access through that, so I'm not sure how I can attune the other locations yet. It might just be based on a uh, quest fantastic. progress. Yep. No, so Aryan, I know. In this main chamber. Let's have a look around. Uh, yep. No, Aryan, we've been over this. I understand. It's been deserted. Oh, oh, Aryan. So now just place the ring in... Oh, it's not letting me place the ring in there. That's not good. Why am I not getting the, uh... Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, okay. Woo! Use Finister's ring. Now let's see what we have here. We got the other ah, touchstone half. Looks like that's the other half of the gem. If you manage to fuse them back together, we may be able to put it to use. You have any duct tape? In fact, that looks to be just the thing we need for the harmonic pedestal out in the main chamber. Mm-hmm. Ah, do right. You could always use the archaeology station at the base camp out front to put it back together. That makes sense. That makes more sense than me just, like, trying to slide the two halves into the socket together. I'm gonna get out to the base camp and it's gonna be like, yeah, do you have a uh, duct tape? This oh, god damn it. All right, Seems yeah, no, every time I come to the chamber. entrance, That's... Aryan, <laughs> I'll just fly through the door and Aryan does his little, this is fantastic line again. Oh, man. Oh, Aryan, I love you, buddy. Archaeology workstation. Harmonic touchstone. Okay, and yeah, all you need is the right half and the left half, which is very convenient. Do I want to make anything else? I don't really need to make anything else right now, but uh... Well, you know what? I have a lot of fragments, so yeah, I'll just make a Morwind Dwemer Goblet. And I have a lot of Flammer stuff, so I'll make the Hexing Shrine. 
and a totemic shrine. Oh, totemic sconce, sorry. Hey, archaeology skill increased to 25. Lovely. Oh man, we're gonna go back inside and Arian's gonna be like, this is fantastic! And I'm gonna be like, Arian, I'm gonna get the goddamn duct tape I was gonna use for this touchstone and put it over your mouth, damn it. Let me guess. This is fantastic. All right, on cue. Seems to be deserted in this main chamber. Let's have a look around. All right. I will say that of a lot of the different mod characters that I've encountered over the years, and just like having played different mods and everything, Aryan is probably one of my favorite. Oh my! It's certainly coming to life now, isn't it? That is exactly what we needed. Now let's have a look at this thing properly. It seems that we have a set of eight massive chimes going from low tones to high ones. Latoria, you want to calm down? And we have six places to hang the chimes. Yes, it seems that the touchstone has energized the platform here. So when you touch it again, the chime is struck to play the tone. Okay. Ah, so then obviously not all the chimes are used at the same time. Also, looks like there are seven doors back along the wall there. Each with a sun icon on them, like the door leading into here. Ah, yes, good eye. So, six musical tones, seven doors, and eight chimes. Interesting. Not much of a pattern to go off of, admittedly. Nope, not at all. Oh, wait, the book. What did it say? I thought it mentioned you're free. And isn't that shrine there on the rail? It's crest. Yes, you are right, Kaya. That shrine does represent your fear. Right there. So between this, the two side room shrines, and the Temple of Trinamac, we have all four of the revered gods of Ariel's pantheon represented. If I recall correctly, the book said, The harmony of your fear shall forever entomb the great evil of our folly, and only by the tone of his voice shall the chambers open. The harmony of his voice, it says. Ifre was the god of nature, no? Nothing more harmonious than nature, Latoria thinks. That does make sense. You're gonna tie yourself out. Depicts music, so only by the tone of his voice shall the chambers open. Seems to me that the sound of the chimes, probably played in the right combination, must open one of the doors. Yes, but what combination? I suppose we could try some randomly and see what we get, but there has to be a more logical way of testing it. Yeah. Oh, wait. The book had tally marks of some kind in the back of it, didn't it? Oh, that's the right, yeah! It was somehow indicating a pattern. Oh, it's a music yes, book! that could be it. I remember staring at those tally marks for days while the guildmaster was unconscious. Oh, that's what you were concerned about, huh? There are seven lines of tally marks, one for each of the doors, if the theory is true. And each tally mark, if I remember correctly, is no greater than eight. All but one of the groups, which had a group of nine, which I found odd. For the nine divines, I but do not so really. love a good puzzle. If we assume the chimes are numbered one for the lowest tone and eight for the highest, that gives us a pattern to work with. Which is like how Madras is facing These away from everyone. These chimes are mighty heavy, though. Looks like you can only move one at a time. Move one, hang it, and then move on to the next, it seems. Place and use the chimes. Okay, so... Oh, okay, here's the chime. Okay. Oh no, these are- okay, these are the chimes, and I have to- Wait, do I have to hang them in the right order now? Latoria also, please, calm down. Alright, I can't talk to her. You know what, here's how I will fix her. Here's how I will fix her running in place. I'll just pop over here and it's like, oh, look fantastic. everybody, and that didn't fix her. In this main chamber. Damn Let's it. Have a look around. Well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot, at least. Wait, wait. Oh, and now, okay, good, that did fix her. Oh, happy days, happy, happy days.